Tonight, I'm going to show you what I'm doing during the golden week here in China. Just behind me here, all those people lined up. Those are everyone taking photos, okay? And I'm here in the fantastic city of Chongqing. You want to see one of the greatest parts of this city? Well, Yuzong District is definitely one of them. Come, in, come with me, guys. I'm gonna show you something very interesting. This street corner here is, I would say, one of the most famous street corners here in all of Chongqing. So you guys can see, real quickly here, all these girls are trying to get that perfect photo. I think it's actually quite cool. Now here's the beautiful thing about Chongqing. Of course, everybody knows it has its hot pot. We all know that. And that's a struggle for Westerners to eat. But it also has a lot of these cafes. Coffee places here are booming. This is my friend, Bert from nice. Food Expert, the YouTube channel. That's bloody hot pot ice cream. I'm just gonna get a normal one. And all. One all and one of those. Have a look at this. Traditional ice cream, of course, and well, spicy ice cream only in Chongqing. I mean, Alex. Try it, try it, okay, Bert, try, try it. it. Here we go. <laughs> try it. Look at those drips. I mean, that spice is so spicy that it makes the ice cream melt extra fast. Mmm. It's kind of like if you put lao ga ma inside of ice cream, it's like a normal McDonald's style vanilla ice cream, very simple, but it's got that oil, it's got that like little bit of Sichuan peppercorn. You know what's also funny is in Chongqing, it's 31 out and it's May already. 31 degrees out, ice cream is melting all over the place. It's, You're eating hot ice cream. And you know what? That was only 11 RMB. Yeah, like $1.50. Wow. Okay guys, I gotta, I gotta eat this. 70 cents, it's really very affordable. At this little ice cream place, remember, this little ice cream place is right beside the World Financial Center, the, one of the biggest buildings here in the center of Chongqing. Where are you guys from? Nanjing. Zhenjiang. What are you doing in Chongqing? Pleasure. First time here? Yeah, first what, time. What do you think of the city? Great city with a long history. Okay. And this morning, it's CBD right here. I like to see the skyscrapers. See, you know, you can see, still see a lot of people over here, even after like 11 p.m. Yes, yeah, of that's really great about that. And I, this is my second time to come over here, and uh, I think this is. And you brought your friend this time. Yeah, I think this is. Okay. Just, I like. Last question. Yeah. Hot pot. You like it or not? Of course, I like it. Is the is this one hotter than the any other city? That's not link. <laughs> Well, anyway, my name is Alex. Your name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey, please meet you, Jeffrey. Loki. Loki. Loki from Marvel. Loki. Ah, got it. You guys seen Yulia? She's back, full of energy, of course. <laughs> this is the beautiful Liberation Monument right behind me here. This is why I fell in love with this city. There's Yulia. Remember this three years ago when we were here? This really captures the magic of this city. You can feel the vibe. I guess now, any event, uh, this is where the main square where people gather and they like to celebrate together. Yeah. This is one of the meeting points, I'd say. Most city centers would cost an absolute fortune to stay in the downtown area. We have experienced five-star hotels here. We've also experienced micro hotels. They are like someone that is basically either rented or bought the entire floor of a skyscraper, usually with great views, okay? 30th, 40th, 50th floor, and you can get these prices, I would say anywhere off holiday sometime or book in advance, anywhere from 100 to 200 RMB, no problem. And enjoy a spectacular view, 3D. 
Now, another area where you really want to go and let's say get into the night scene, it's gonna be Ninth Street. That is where the party is going. It says it right there, guys. Chung Ching Food Street. From right to left, from right to left, from right to left, from right to left, our food, 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 and food. You love this this food, don't you? I love all the Chung Ching hot pot, all the different stuff, like, you know, all the Chinese food is basically here, not just Chung Ching food, but like other Chinese delicacies. And a lot of these have been around for a while. I can just see into the distance, the Chung Ching barbecue that way. And over on that other destination, we're seeing restaurants that said that they've been established since 1992. Look at behind us here. That goes deep, 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 deep in there. There are so many of these restaurants. Hey there, how are you? Uh, oh, I know. Good. I go very kind sir. Thank you. And so are you, sir. Hi, where are you from? I'm from Canada. Canada. Yes. Very, very good. A very good country. Thank you so much. My name is Marshall Way. Oh, very nice I'm to meet you. I'm a singer. You're a singer? I quite so TV. Younger will change in conversation. When I right. were young, I listened to the radio. Waging for my favorite song. Oh. I said, I said, I Okay, 你最喜欢吃什么菜在这个路口那个重庆的路口酸辣粉酸辣粉哦为什么你最喜欢吃酸辣粉那又酸又辣哎你好你好你们最喜欢吃什么菜在重庆火锅你最喜欢吃什么
to the Western audience that doesn't get this type of information. Many people in my country don't even know about this city. Ask a Canadian, where's Chongqing? Ask him where it is. Maybe one in 100 would say that, it, hey, it's in China. They wouldn't even be able to point it out on the map. Two nights ago, I was out with Michaela Ponte, a friend of mine here, another YouTuber, another vlogger here. And well, have a look at that, okay? <laughs> that, I have no words. All I can say is people from Chongqing have iron stomachs that can handle that type of food. Us Westerners, we are totally knocked out. This is the best food in the world. Do you want to eat this food? Really? The food in Thailand, you can eat this food. We have a very good food. Do you want to eat this food? Do you want to eat this food? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, you guys make all the spicy hot pot like this, exactly like this. So this has got beef lard inside of this hot pot and so it's got a whole bunch of spicy chili peppers from Sichuan that are dried out then there's also the Sichuan peppercorns yeah it's it's a spicy combination so yeah, I love Chongqing hot pot, but it's not for everybody. So try it at your own risk, guys. It's definitely not an easy thing to try. Uh, uh, don't try it two days in a row either. That's not gonna be very good. Uh, let's have a look here. So as you saw behind me there, there's a lot of girls and guys that come down and either sing or they do their doyen videos. Like this uh, girl behind us here. She's dancing and hit the illumination of this part of Chongqing. Now this is only about a five minute walk from Food Street or a 10 minute walk from Victory Monument, okay? And you can see they're there, they're singing songs. And it's got the perfect backdrop here to make a video. You can see all these illuminated signs in front of us, all throughout us. It makes the actual perfect backdrop Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out Bert's channel in the link below. Thanks for watching.